Hey guys, my name is Ren. Welcome back to the 100% playthrough of The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. We are in front of Reardon Manor. Definitely not the place we last were at. In the last episode, strictly because I want to do a couple more quests here in Melon. And for that, we need to go into our quests, and we will not do Destination Skellige, but we will go into our secondary quests and choose True. The truth is in the stars. We also need to win a unique card from the Suitsayer, so it's basically two birds with one stone. But the truth is in the stars says the following. Deep in the swampy woods of Balan, there is a roadside altar praising the glories of one of the forgotten gods. That is where Geralt encountered a shriveled, half-senile old man who claimed he could foretell the future and would read Geralt's fortune for a small fee. This is exactly where I want to go. And we can apparently book it over the roof here. And see where this road actually takes us. Because also in that very same village with the Soothsayer, there is also, as far as I know, one other quest that awaits us that also solves the issue of the last two question marks that we have in Belen, which are over on here. There is also a exclamation mark here. Quest available. A new quest is available at this location. We will definitely check this out. But we have uh, these kind of three locations, actually. So we will definitely tackle those as well. That's it, Roach. But first things first, uh, suits here. I'll get off Roach. And the suits here is over here. Been expecting you. Come closer. Really now? We know each other. Not personal, like. Though I've seen ye many times. I've a gift. I see the future. Yours as well. But not for free, I guess. I don't ask much. If you've a bite to eat. Uh, I want to play when got some food, your gift, tell me about it. Now let's not ask, ask this first. Been having these visions long. Since I were a tyke, my mother took me to the village witch once. I fell into a cauldron full of some magic brew. Mm hmm. Seriously? If I'm to tell it serious, twere as a youth that I got hit in the back of my head with a rock. Started seeing more than others. Oh, well, that sounds more likely. Well, we got some food for you. Here. Thank ye. A fine offering. Well worth a foretelling. <sighs> All right. Let's hear it. I see a white wolf. He looks on as the great viper bites and devours the silver lily. He wants to spring. He wants to fight. But the serpent is quicker. The lily must perish. That's not the future. Lived through that. And you probably heard about it in some ballad. My third eye grows foggier the older I become. But if you bought me some dragon's root... Rare plant. Rare indeed. But it did once grow in a cave southeast of here. Well, let's see what we can Fine. do about it. I'll see what I can do. Okay. And the quest, if I'm not mistaken, is over here. Yeah. Mm. You going north, Master? Why do you ask? Uh, I thought you could see if anything's happened to our men. They've been gone a while. Well, okay, let's talk about the pay first. My reward. How do you want to figure it? Oh, uh, we well, we thought... That I? You, you're owed for your trouble. 
Um, let's see if you're willing to pay two ninety. If yes, that suits very nice. you, excellent. Uh, okay, what do you need? What do you need? Merchant caravan came through not long past. Hired some of our boys to guide him to the bridge. They were due back yesterday. Fine. Keep my eyes open. My brother Tomil led him. Talk to him when you find them. Clever man. Not like the rest of them, eh? Okay, Phantom of the Trade Route. But first things first, we do need to get the uh, Dragon's Route. Logis seems unwell of me. She told me it was not me. She me? Whoa! She get me? I don't know. Okay, we can also loot something over here. Which is very nice. But we will focus on getting the Dragon's Route for now. Down over here. There's a lot of drowners there. And we are at a cave with a lot of skeletons and a lot of blood. And it just so happens to have a snow here there as well. I do believe that's a reference to one of the Monty Python shows. I'm not exactly sure which one, but I know it is a reference to at least one of them. There's a lot of... A lot, a lot of mushrooms to gather here. Okay, that's just ghouls. Oh, Igni. Doesn't look like it. There's Dragon's, Dragon's Root. Root. Wonder if it can really help the old man see the future. There is only one way to know. And I also wonder what the Silver Lily prophecy was all about that we heard at the beginning. With the Viper and the Silver Lily. Hmm. Well, the village is just over here. There's also sometimes wolves lurking around. But thankfully not this time. There's a lot of refugees here. Really, Geralt? You set yourself on fire. Ah! Okay, let's jump through here and give the route to the fortune teller. Oh, you're back. Yes, and we also have the dragon's route. Got what you asked for. Thingy. No, I need a moment. See a wolf striving forward towards a solitary tower midst a blizzard. He follows the swallow, yet the swallow does not heed the wolf's howls, soaring higher and higher, for it knows tis its last flight. As to others say, so shall it be. Look for the signs. The world will perish amidst ice and be reborn with the new sun. Reborn of the elder blood of Hen Iker, of a planted seed. 
Ethelene's prophecy. Leave me be. Go. Go now. Is that it? I guess that's it. But still. Oh, you're back. What's he playing Gwent with this? Wanted to ask you. Hello? I. I play Gwent. And I. We can play for the prize card in my collection. You a mind reader? The good gods did bless me with some precognition. I say some, because it's selective like, when he applies to mundane matters. Not a bird will ever shit on me, but all my foresights never helped me win at Gwent. Well, we'll see about that. Let's lay him out. I do for a fact know that he plays monsters. So, it might be a bit tricky. Uh, we do have two Sinfred Reavers, which is good. I'll get rid of Kira and Sinfred, sure. Hmm, this might not be a good hand. Oh no. Um, let's start small and play the Blue Stripes Commander first. Okay. Oh god, I wish I had Scourge, but then I would Scourge my own card as well. Um... I can play Shield. Okay. Can match this, I guess. Goals. That's fine. I think I'll go with the Sanford Reavers, though. Will I, though? Um, I will pull this one back. Pass. That's fine. That's just fine with me. He has three cards. 17 in the deck still though. And the... The leader card. Well, I have to play one of them. Just to get a... Point advantage. Hmm. No Scorch. No Spy Guards. This is exactly what I was afraid of. There is no way this is going to help me. And that's 44 even if I play this. And that's only 16. That's not gonna be enough ever. If I had Scourge, that would have been amazing. Oh. I might as well pass as well. The good god so fit to let me win. Drop in for another round sometime. I definitely will. I want to play another round for sure. Ooh, you're back. Yes. Another round? Sure. Only diversion we get in this wasteland. Okay, then let's, let's lay him out. And I will keep the deck as is and pray we get better cards. Uh, well, that's not my definition of better, but I will get rid of these two. Let's see what we can do with this now. Okay. Still no Scourge though, that's my... ...kind of biggest concern. I mean, I might as well do this.
Okay, very good. Um... Okay. I'm just waiting for him to play the vampire card. to do now is the question. Maybe it's this? I'm two cards down. Which is not really a fun thing. And I will still continue just to kind of try and bait out the crones cards. I'm not giving up. Yep, there it is. I am perfectly, perfectly fine with this. Clear whether I don't think he has any more cards to play. So let's grab ourselves back our ballistas and trebuchets. Okay. How many scorches do you have? I'm sorry. Okay, you passed. I'm, I'm fine with this. I am definitely fine with this. So is the soothsayer's lot. I know where to find the finest slippery jacks this fall, but how to play and not lose, that I'll never know. Well, it's chance A and luck. A beautiful win. Take this card, you deserve it. Well, thank know you. Know of any others who play Gwent? You've but one opponent worth your while in Velen, in the village of Midcops. They calls him Hattie. He's a tyke, barely a handful of summers to him, but don't let that fool ye. Okay, Chrome V breast. Very, very nice. And we do have one more thing to solve over here, which is not Deadly Delights. Phantom of the Trade Route. It's actually a level 23 quest. I honestly didn't know that. That's like, what, eight? Eight levels? No, it's nine levels. You know what? I'm, I'm kind of scared to actually do that, so maybe we don't do that. And instead, let's see if we have anything in Valen. No. Do we have any other... Oh yeah, we do have this. We do have this, so why don't we actually do that instead? And maybe come back to this quest at a later point because we have still Arton and Hattie of Midcops. Do we do this or do we do this? I'm kind of tempted to go with um the quest for Kira then. A favor for a friend. We need to find the supposedly missing ingredients that she ordered from Novigrad. But we also have something over here. Oh. Wait, is that the guy with shun me? on me up. Isn't that the guy who transported uh, corpses from, with the Looking blade? Looking for ghouls? Why? No one else to do me in. Been in a bad way for days. Final breaths like... But somehow can't die. So strong since I were a lad, damn it. Hmm. 
We met before. Aye. Pulled me from under a pile of stiffs. I was sure their scourge had never touched me. So sure, so foolish. Listen. You did me a kindness once. Do me another. Got a sharp sword there. Finish this. Um, um... I'll do it and all about you, Kelly. <laughs> no, no, no. Sorry. Can't do that. I beg you. No. No, why the hell not? You disgusted. A fear of your conscience. Oh, God's damn it, do it quick. I'll pay ye. If you won't, get out of my sight. Let me die in peace. Now we, then there's no way I can do that. That's... What's he gonna do now? Okay, just cry. Oh, the storm, damn it. Is... The weather is not as nice. Let's actually go back to the signpost. And travel to mid cops. Maybe even the weather gets better. But yeah, that's a very, very... Oh, we actually need to go to Hangman's Alley. Oh, there's the tracks. Wide, heavy wheels. Merchant's wagon. Okay, that's just trailers. Okay, going off road. We can examine. Veered off the road at high speed. Doesn't bode well. How true, how true. And over here. Yeah, merchant traveling across Velen alone. No way that was gonna end well. <laughs> Leftovers, cuts of meat, cut of lepus. Wonder what spell requires that. Okay. We have package for Kira. Package still intact. Don't sense anything magic though. You know Kira will explain this way. Can't be far. Wouldn't have made it. That's villain for you. Oh, how true, how true. Missing merchant's letter. Okay. Volker. I, I paused that because <laughs> paused a little bit because Volker's kind of I think it's the same name of the guy from one of the abandoned villages in the uh, White Orchard. But anyway, Volker, we have gold, old friend. Not only have we sold all of our stock, we have sold it three times uh, its cost. Our customer wants it all. Wine from Beclair. Everything from Bourgeois Nouveau to the oldest vintages. White, red, rosé, you name it. To us meat, pickled beef, pepper, cinnamon, cloves. I'm telling you, old friend, everything. There's one catch, however. We must deliver the goods to Valen to a village called Midcops. I know, I know, dangerous with all the war and all. But think of the coin. I've managed to secure a pass that will get you across the Pontar. Then it's just a hop, skip, and jump. And you're there. You'll be fine. Klaus. Yes, we split the proceeds 50-50. Well, Kira. I wouldn't call that Let's a go. spell. Ingredients for a spell. Especially the wine. And the meat. And the weather is actually horrible. Her 
house. I also want to do just one thing so we don't have it sticking in the screen all the time. Kira, hello! Geralt, just when I was starting to miss you. Uh, okay, um, this is something we asked before, but we got the substances you wanted. Got those, uh, substances you wanted? Splendid. I can finally begin my study of double arboreal racination patterns. But first, I'll... Brew yourself a mug of mulled wine? Saw what the wagon was carrying. Exquisite meats, expensive wines, Zeracanian spices. Not a speck of magic. Care to tell me what you're up to? I would rather show you, but you must wait a bit. Okay, we'll wait then. Color me intrigued. Fine, I'll wait. <laughs> then shoo, outside. Gonna slip into something more comfortable? Later. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. Well, go on, out. You've been patient, thank you. It's almost ready. Huh? If I wanted to see white mice, I'd just get drunk. <laughs> Note that I said almost. Now don't interrupt. The cane within Hazel. Okay, two horses. What happened to the third mouse? Third mouse? What happened to it? The spell has a 66.67% chance of success. I always use one more than I need, just in case. So where did... Kira, can I explain what's going on here? Know the fairy tale about Cinderella? Mm-hmm. True story it's based on, too. A zoogle cropped up in a palace pond and ate Princess Cinderella whole. Left behind one slipper, so... I beg you, not another word about Zoogles. Now, to return to the fairy tale, I'd like to escape these ghastly swamps for one magical night. I don't need a fairy godmother. I'll cast the spells myself. But I could use a Prince Charming. It just so happens you're the only decent candidate in all Velen. So, what do you say to a moonlight ride on horseback? And dinner? <laughs> I'm watching not a gigolo. Uh, you know what? Let's actually do this. Sounds tempting. So tempting, I don't think I can refuse. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. Before we go, there's one more thing. Gotta transform a pumpkin into a carriage? No. I shall transform our rancid rags into something more glamorous. Don't wince. It'll only be an illusion, won't hurt a bit. And at dawn, everything will return to normal. Okay, let's Why play not? along. Might as well go all out. Then hold on tight. Gavella Glan. So, what do you think? Neckline too modest? It's just right. Oh, I might also have changed your hair color while I was at it. I've always fancied dark haired men. Oh well, any port in a storm. Well, off we go. Dinner's waiting. Last one there does the dishes. Now we have a race as go, well. Go. Okay. Right past a man that sounds like he's dying. Okay, so far we're in the lead. Yeah, yeah. Whoa, Cinderella! We'll have a great fall. <laughs> as fast as you can. Try to catch me. Move it. The strong manner. A new waypoint, very nice. Looks like this is this used to be it, and we also have a little quest here as well. So good thing we agreed to that dinner. Kira invited us to.
Congratulations. You'd make an excellent jockey. If only I were a foot shorter and five stone lighter. Well, yes. But then I'd not have invited you here. Now do you see why I needed those substances? It was worth the trouble could have told me. Well, it looks like a nice dinner, so it was worth the trouble. Even cinnamon and cloves, roasted capon with shallots. It was worth the trouble. Shall I pour the white or the... Dry red. But let it breathe a little first. Well, well, never took you for a wine connoisseur. Think witchers suck the marrow out of drowner bones and wash it down with puddle water? More or less. Well, we've chatted long enough on empty stomachs. Let's dig in. Must have cost you a small fortune. Sure you don't need me to pitch in? Please, I manage. You know, a dozen eggs here, a cock or gander there. Besides, my finances are about to improve. How's that? So we celebrating something. Sounds like it doesn't end. All right, I'm curious. We celebrating something? Yes, a return to the living. But that's not what I wish to discuss. Thank you once again, Geralt, for your help with the tower. You were fabulous. Not the first curse I've lifted. But among the most difficult, correct? What happened on that island? Why I shiver at the thought. And the laboratory. I sincerely hope you burnt everything. The cages, the corpses, the papers. Then destroy the workshop if that's what you're asking. Well, why do you even care? I thought we came here to make love. Uh. Okay. I. Um. Um. You know what? Yeah. All right. Let's get down to business. What are you talking about? Sex. That's why we're here, isn't it? Oh. You may know about wine, but you oh, remain quite unsophisticated it. otherwise. That's very good, because boars are much better in bed. That's so. Now, close your eyes and count to ten. One, two, three, four. All right, that's enough. <laughs> Well, it could have went downhill, Gira, but... Wanna play hide and seek? Why not? Um... No. A skirt? Guess we're playing hunt the hare, not hide and seek. Okay. Shoes? Hmm. Shame. Could have kept her shoes on. Well, maybe she didn't want to. Now, where's that Cinderella gone to? Down by the water, it looks like. Found me. Congratulations. Do I get a prize? I have nothing on me. But I'll think of something. Call that constellation in Zeracania? Dragon something, I bet. <laughs> no, it has a different name. A bit indecent, actually. Lean closer and I'll whisper it in your ear. Ekvain Nave. Kira? Where? Me to sleep with a spell it means she's up to something. <sighs> Fike Isle, the tower. Indeed, Kira is up to something. Something definitely not good. But what exactly that is, is something we are going to discover in the next episode so thank you so much for watching uh for joining Geralt and i on his adventures 
In case you like this video, why don't you drop a like, maybe even comment what you liked about it. And if you want to subscribe, you're more than welcome to do so. It takes only a couple of seconds and it means the world to me. Um, yeah, next episode we will find out what exactly Kira is doing in in the tower on Fike Isle and what all of this was actually about. And yeah, that's it from me for this episode, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!